Hey everyone, Nick Pruski here, and today I'm going to show you how you can research just about anything you would like by connecting Perplexity to NAN. So if you didn't know, Perplexity AI is a smart search engine that answers questions by finding information from the web in real time. So it combines the features of search engines and chatbots to make it easier for users to get the information that they need. So I use this all the time when it comes to anything research related whether that's finding information about an incoming lead who booked a call with me or just trying to find new clients. So the reason that I'm making this video is because Perplexity is such a powerful tool that can make for super great AI agents or automations. And surprisingly, it's something that isn't offered in NAN as an app, at least yet, like it is in make.com or Zapier or other automation softwares that you use. So there's honestly a pretty easy solution to implementing this into NAN, and today I'm about to show you how you can do it for yourself. But before we get started, I wanted to quickly mention that if you're a business owner and you want to leverage our AI systems to scale your business and completely eliminate your repetitive tasks, like I've done with companies before, then book a free call with me and I'll show you how to drive revenue, save time in your business, and ultimately scale for growth so that you can finally step away from the daily operations. Also, be sure to join my free school community because I'll be providing so much other valuable resources that'll help you grow and scale your business, which I don't provide on my YouTube. So getting started, as you can see, if I were to come into NAN and if I were to search up just perplexity, nothing would come up. So to actually find a workaround, what we're going to be having to do is use an HTTP request. And this is how we're going to be using perplexity AI. So I created a pretty simple use case, and this is kind of something that I would normally use perplexity for. So I have this CRM, every name is fake, as you can see, um, YouTube don't copyright me. So I have this name, I have this website category, and I have research. So what I want to do is I want to use perplexity to automatically research all of these different websites. And then NAN is going to build the automation, or it's going to be the place that I'm building the automation to create this um, section for me, where it's just going to provide some research onto all of these different websites. So as I mentioned, Perplexity is, you know, the best place for researching things exactly like this. So the first step that we want to do is actually create an account on Perplexity, of course. And, you know, once you create your account, you're going to want to grab your API key. So also do is go to API section, and you'll find it right on there. You'll copy that. And from there, what we're going to be doing is we'll just search up perplexity API reference. So once you search that, you'll find the API reference. Once we go up in here, go to API reference right there. And we're just going to be pasting in our API key right here. Just paste it right there. And this will then populate um, your bare information right here. So all you'll do, go ahead and make sure you clicked on curl, not Python, JavaScript or anything. Just copy that. And so since I already have it copied, I'm not going to copy it again, but what we'll be doing is just creating a new workflow with an N8N. So, so I just want to create something brand new, completely from scratch. So anytime this CRM is updated with a new URL. So I'm trying to give as many use cases as possible for something like this. So one great one is something that I actually built out in the past. So anytime a new article, let's say this is our you know, our database for storing ideas that we want to post on LinkedIn or maybe Twitter and anything like that. So anytime something new is updated here, it's automatically going to um, create a post on that. But in this particular example, it's just going to do research on this website. So hopefully I didn't confuse anybody there. But so to do that, first thing we'll be doing is going into NAN and we'll just create a brand new node right here. So we'll use Google Sheets. And we will just use on row added or updated. So we'll just want to connect our credentials. If you don't know how to connect your credentials, watch my last video that I just uploaded going over how you can do that. But real quick, I'll show you essentially what you do. So what you do is go into, um, I believe it's open docs. And then from here, you'll go into your console. So if you don't have a Google cloud console, go here to create one, you'll log in basically you'll just search up any app that you want to enable for any and so for example i want to enable google sheets i'll just search google sheets go to the api for that and just make sure that this is enabled so as you can see there's no enable or disable button it's already on here so now it's just managed for me 
And this is where you could find your client secret and um, anything else that you might need your client ID. So now we'll just back up, close this out. So let's try the third account and we'll choose from the document. So as you can see, we already have our documents right here. So I have this one called fake CRM. So that's the one we're going to be using and we'll just find the sheet. It'll also be called fake CRM, I believe. Yep. So now we'll just fetch a test event, make sure that we're getting the correct outputs. So as you can see, this is everything that I have in the CRM currently. So everything from fake name to miss example. So I'll show you real quick. There's the proof. Um, and now we just want to hook up perplexity. So we'll just be searching HTTP, open that up. And instead of doing anything else, importing all this manually, what we'll do is just click on import curl. So you'll grab your curl command from, or your snippet from earlier that I showed you how to grab in perplexity. And you'll just paste it straight into here. You'll click on import. And as you can see, everything else is um, currently being imported. So the one thing that we will have to change because, you know, we're not using a native module of perplexity is coming into this code and just changing up this prompt. So as you can see for the role system, this is where you're normally going to be putting into your system prompt. And then this is the user prompt. So you could put in, um, so I'll give you an example. So for this user prompt, I could just put in the website. So I'm giving it the credentials right there. And now here I'm wanting to give it an actual prompt. So I'm just going to copy what I did earlier. And what I said was, I'll show you in one second. So I'm gonna copy that. This is the prompt right here. And we'll just paste it straight into here. So you are to research companies and their websites. So you must find things to compliment them on or things that you found of importance that may be worth mentioning. So for example, if they have awards on their website, then compliment that. Or if they are hiring, then mention you saw them hiring. So this prompt was previously used for sending out cold emails to the prospects websites. So now we'll just want to put in the maximum amount of tokens. So we'll just do something like, um, we'll do 200. We won't do anything crazy, you know, and obviously you could change different things about your, um, LLM. So you could change the temperature or anything like that. So. Now we'll just be testing this out and we'll see what happens. So it should be testing Apple and maybe it might be testing all of them. So if we scroll down a little bit, as you can see, so right here, it just said Google's website. So Google's website is a comprehensive platform that offers a wide range of services and tools. Here are some key points to complement or highlight. So perfect. We now have perplexity working properly, but the problem here is that it outputted, you know, 10 different websites. So it's grabbing all 10 of the websites that are in my CRM. And I only wanted to grab one. And I also want to post that into Google Sheets. So we'll work on this other problem, which is updating it into Google Sheets. So if I go into here and I'll do update. So append or update row in Google Sheets. And excuse my sniffling, I'm still getting over a cold. Um, so don't hate me on that. Um, so we'll choose our correct credentials and we'll just choose our document. So it should be, make sure I have the right account and we'll just choose fake CRM. That's the one we're currently working on. And the sheet will be the same thing. And we'll just map each column manually. So the column to match on, we'll just do website. So that's how it's going to be finding um, which one to work on. So if we go to choices, we find perplexity. So we should see it at the bottom. If we go to Google Sheets trigger and we'll find the website right here, put that in right there. And for the research, we'll just want to put in that answer. So now we'll just test this out and now the research column should be filled. Okay. So as you can see, all these are now filled in. And what we can do is actually set this up to run automatically. So automatically doing research every time I add a new website. So if I add Amazon, um, it's automatically going to add that research column for me, but I'm not going to do that. We're just focusing on how to use perplexity, but yeah, so essentially that's how you add perplexity into your NAN um, workflows. So, I mean, you can even take this a step further. So if you only want to grab one module out of, you know, instead of grabbing all 10 at a time, what you can do is add a code module and basically, you know, you won't even have to do any code. So all you do come into here and basically just have ChatGPT write your code. So just say, Hey, I need you to write me code take a screenshot of your workflow. All you do is just highlight everything, give that screenshot to ChatGPT, 
and with that picture and a little bit of prompting. So just say, hey, based on this picture, I need you to write me some code to only grab one or the latest um, record that's being added from Google Sheets instead of every single one. And then it'll only parse um, just one of those things. But yeah, so this is a super simple tutorial. I just wanted to show you because, you know, this is something that um, I wondered myself why they don't have perplexity on here. And I'm sure a lot of other people would want to be using something like this within their workflows because, you know, it works in make.com, it works in Zapier. So be fitting if it could work within N8N. So yeah, that's it. Um, hope you guys found some value in this. Again, if you are looking for us to build out some systems uh, within your business, then book a free call. Link is in the description and also join my school community. You could also find the link down below. But other than that, thank you for watching. Uh, hope you found some value and I'll see you in the next video.